Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, uh, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot uh, external HDD not detecting. So uh, in my case, I have a HDD from Seagate. This is uh, four terabytes, and then there is already data in there. So I couldn't I couldn't do any format or anything like that. But uh, all I'm going to do is uh, I'll show you how to troubleshoot the hard drive, uh, the external hard drive when it's not detecting. Okay, so I haven't uh, connected my hard drive yet, but I'm going to connect it now through uh, any USB port I have. The, uh, so I just connected the external HDD. So you can see the icon on top right here. I can try uh, remove it for you so you can see for yourself. And it's gone. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to plug it back. And you can see on top right here again. Um, eject media but uh, when you open when you open my computer here let me see okay uh, try uh, this PC so once it pops up you don't see any uh, detection of your external HDD I'm, I'm sure it's connected uh, it's uh, I can also verify the light is blinking my HDD and also I also try to change the cables so it could be a cable issue sometimes or it could be ports issue or it could be the hard drive issue failure or anything like that and also uh check if uh, check if it's uh, working on different laptops or different desktops too because uh, sometimes you know your laptop might be a corrupted to this hard drive or anything so i i did i did basic troubleshooting on all these um so yeah it's plugged in now when i go to my computer so you can click on start and type uh, this PC once you open my computer and then it should be detecting on my computer uh, right here the other drive but not C uh, C is like uh, Windows files so we, we should not we shouldn't be doing anything with that now so all we need is uh, my hard drive is not detected so I base I did basic troubleshooting like uh, changing the cable for the hard drive and then the and also I try to change the ESB ports from different ports like we have like uh, two ports four ports so you try all things check check if uh, any anything is wrong with your ports so nothing yet so and also verify that the, there is a light blinking on your uh, hard drive so yeah in my case it's blinking and I checked uh, I checked also with the other laptops if it's working fine it's working fine so the issue is with my laptop, not with the hard drive or not with the cable or not with the ports or anything. So I found out, so you can you can go to uh, disk management. So I'll show you how to go to disk management. So you can uh, go to click on start. You can type uh, disk uh, management. Okay, I think uh, create and format hard disk partition. I think this is the one. Let me see if that's going to take the right place. Yeah, this is the one. Or you can go to the disk management by opening my computer. So let's say go on start and then type this PC. And then you see this PC right here. So you can right click on this and you can click on manage. This is where you manage all your uh, computer stuff, uh, hardware or anything like that. So you can go to uh, storage and then disk management. It's the same thing. And there is also a command you want to type, but uh, you can look it up on Google. Okay, okay so here um, I can see my C drive and these are like uh, by default uh, they came in. So and the other one is like four terabytes is this one. Let me let me unplug you so it will, it will go away. And it's gone. I just unplugged it and then let me plug back in so you guys can see yourself yeah I just plugged in so if I do some refresh or anything like that I don't know it so here it is so it's it's showing up here but it's it's not it's still nothing on my computer so what I found is uh, so all the drives as uh, drive letters for sure if I'm correct so let's say the windows has c and if you create like uh, another drive so it will create it will take the drive letter as d or anything like that 
but in this in this one uh, i found out found out that uh there is no drive letter assigned to this one let me see uh if that is going to work as uh it should be working because uh you see when you when i click on on the showing mode on when i click on when right when i right click on this one and then click on change drive letter and paths so there's there's empty on it when you do the same thing on the c let's see change uh, drive letter and path it is it is c so it is c <laughs> and when you do on this one it's it's empty so that means uh we need to assign a drive letter for this uh c get external std so how do you do that yeah, same thing so you can go ahead and then right click on this one the drive and change drive letter and paths do not click on format because uh, if you click on this one okay now um, yeah it says offline so you're not going to do anything so it's okay so yeah uh, you can click on change drive letter and paths so you can click here add on on the pop-up like one i'm doing and you can choose to assign any letter you like to assign for your um external hard drive so let's say i wanted to give it uh, y and then i click ok it might take like a couple of seconds but mine is like four terabyte but if you have like one terabyte or anything so it might take like quick depends on your uh, storage and the speed of computer so let's see um so now i have a drive letter is assigned y and also uh let me go back to my pc like my computer and you can see it's here yeah and then go to properties you can see 3.63 terabytes i mean which is like four terabytes always so uh the basic stuff you do is like basic troubleshooting like uh changing the cables changing ports sometimes that could have been an issue so you need to go to the disk and then look what's wrong so you can visually clearly see that there is no drive letter assigned to this one let me let me show you how how it is uh now so you can see why is my four terabyte hard drive so this is windows so let me see if i go ahead and then right click on my disk like four terabytes the external one change trial better path and then i'll remove this one and it says some programs that rely on drive letters might not run correctly are you sure you want to remove this dry letter i say yes and then it might take like five seconds or ten seconds like that yeah it's done and you can see in this one here it's gone again so basically what we do is just uh, go to our uh, disk management um, you could say uh, go to start and then this pc and then right click on this uh this pc and then go to manage and from in this pop-up you can go to disk management and from here you you see the drive letter uh, there is no drive letter you just see the name of your drive but there is no drive letter this one windows has a uh, c this is c drive so um you right click on this one and then change drive letter and paths and then add a drive letter and that's it uh select any of this uh, random let's say again okay any of letter so c is already taken so it won't be showing on your display so you can pick any other and once this is done it will be back on my computer so that's how you uh resolve the undetected the uh, hard drives if there are any more troubleshoots or anything you guys are facing you know you can drop a comment below and so that i can i can look into that and then you know help you out with this with these issues most of the reasons is uh this one and then sometimes the drive uh, i don't know some corrupt files do the job and then they they remove your drive letters by itself or by by running some backend programs and then on your disks or anything like that there are there are a lot of diff this corruptions in in the the production always so you might you might be able to see all the disk failures and happens all the time but uh, it's a common thing but you might have to make sure everything is in order
that's how the problems are solved so this is it for today's troubleshooting videos on how to troubleshoot on your external hard drive please make sure to like and subscribe and that would be much more appreciated so thank you and have a good day